Stickers, I got a few. Welcome to Derek's kitchen. Although this is still not my kitchen, not sure I'm gonna return. So you're in my office. But the title on YouTube is Derek's Kitchen. That's where I started it. Anyway, today's a good day. I got a mess going into my uh, studio here I gotta clean up. But that's because I got some kits in. And for anybody that's ordered a Ford Bronco, I feel for you. I would say it's the simply, it is the simply, it is simply the longest release of a vehicle ever. Since the, I feel like the original one came out in 19 whatever. And uh, now we have a new one, but you still can't really get it. And you can't get it in a hard top. Strange, right? Weird times. Uh, I got one, I ordered it, came in. I got the hard top, you guys can't get shit. I got it. Yeah, uh, it's not a full scale one. It's the Traxxas TRX4 with the Ford Bronco four door. They don't say what version, Yeti. I don't know what it is. Some Sasquatch, Sasquatch. That's probably what it is. But what you get is this son of a beach right here. And I must say, pretty badass. Now, if you're new to the world, RC world, maybe you're just watching this video because Ford Bronco hardtop was mentioned that you don't have one and you're feeling bad. Uh, you can own one now in this awesome tangerine mustard I ate gold and peed mustard out color, which I think is the best color. The bestest. Uh, Hardtop, TRX4. I'm gonna go over some of, it's not an unboxing, but it's in my thoughts before I drive it because we've tested the TRX4 before. Four, before, before. Uh, and we liked it. It's full of features. This one is packed full of every feature that Traxxas has had. I got a, they sent me some love here. You can see the, I don't know if you can see it, but the, the headlights on, got some, uh, well, some tail light action, LED, you know, loving it. Blinkers work. It's in demo mode. There's a little module in there. I, it's probably gonna be in demo mode the rest of its life because I have to read directions, but I, well, I'll do that. So I can have headlights and stuff like that acting. I can't imagine that they would just blink and that's their setup. It's a big box in there. So let's, uh, let's take the body off. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I just filmed it before, so I'm going back in time right now. Uh, let's take this body off, pop it off, get underneath. Let me tell you what, if you're new to TRX4, what's new to this kit, if there's anything new, besides that perfect body. And we'll, uh, we'll get into the details before I go and give it a little bit of a uh, rock, rock action and tell you my thoughts before I drive it. Isn't that smart? Let me tell you what it is before I drive it. It's like, it's like I'm the internet, but on the internet, I'm on the internet. So I know everything before I even, I even drive it, just like you. So let's get this body off. In all the generations of Traxxas body mounts, this is the easiest. It's also the hardest. I don't know which one I like better, but I could tell you that by looking at this, you can't tell that this body is actually hard mounted to the chassis because it has clips underneath. Does that make it complicated to change a body? That, uh, can I get a hell yeah? Yeah, of course it does. But the end result is beautiful. I mean, this Ford Bronco body and this mustard, sparkly mustard is the best color, period. If you're gonna buy a new one, you should get this color. But let me show you just how easy it is to take the body off and just how not easy it is to put it back on. You know, yin and yang. Let's look. Pretty easy. Two fingers under each of the wheel wells. You'll, you'll feel little tabs. I think I feel them. And you just pop up. Same in the back. And the body comes off. This little umbilical cord is the optional Traxxas lighting system that's obviously in this demo mode because I haven't read the directions. But you also have to unplug that to take the body fully off. To put it back on, I would say it's a little bit harder. Uh, only because I don't have practice. But you're just gonna snap the front and the back in. I don't even know, maybe this one doesn't even, there you go. And just back up. Actually, that was easier than I thought. But out of the body mounting systems, if you're gonna keep the stock body, if you feel like you're gonna change this one, you probably shouldn't buy this body. Simple, easy, and uh, do I wanna say Traxxas-esque? Because they sit there and think about body mounts all day. You guys are nuts. 
Anyway, outside of the bodies, it's perfect. You can flip the mirrors in if you want. They're not adjustable. You didn't get the uh, upgraded version, the platinum, whatever the top of the line Traxxas is called. All right, here it is, the TRX4. She's been out for a while. Ooh, I burped. She, he, depends what you want to call it, whatever you want to be. It's fine with me, just don't make me call you it. Here it is, TRX4 chassis. Now, it's big looking, it looks like a tank, right? It's got awesome molded fenders, uh, body mount system in the fenders, shocks mounted to the fenders. This is kind of the chassis. Old school, when you had the other one with the post, like for the old school uh, locking system, uh, they keep changing it. It's a new mounting system every chassis. This one I think works a little bit for me. Hard to change a body, as I said. Cool thing about the TRX4, and they didn't give you the sport version. You buy the Bronco, you ain't getting the cheap version. You're getting the one with the good stuff. You got locking diffs, front and rear. Awesome. Two-speed transmission. I have to double check that one but I'm pretty sure it's there. Awesome. Controversial, not controversial. This is a brush system. XL5 Titan T21 uh, turn. Now, you might wanna say, Derek, or whoever you are holding the camera, why would they put a brush system in here? Brushless is better. Why are we going backwards? But let me explain something to you. Brushed for crawling, is technically better because it has a much better feel, much better low end sensitivity, and let's be real, it's cheaper still. So it saves you a couple bucks. You can put a brushless system in here. Believe me, you can upgrade to a nice Tekken system, full sensor, have a great feel, have much more features. But out of the box, if you ask me, I would prefer a brush system just because the feel is better and it's just overall a nicer feel for crawling. Hard to explain in a video, but if you're good enough to feel difference in throttle control, you'll feel it. Let's pop a wheel off and maybe look at my face while I talk about it. Because I like to look at my own self while I do these videos. I'm going to pop a wheel off. Because not only do you get... By the way, I checked. You do get two speeds. I saw the servo. I was a little confused myself where they hit this, the two-speed servo. Three little baby servos on there. Locking front and rear which is sick. You do it on the radio. Just click this little bad boy, three position sensor. Listen. Uh, I don't know which one's locked. It would be nice if they marked it on here, like front lock, rear lock. See in here, there's uh, no mark, but you can do that yourself. I mean, you could be smarter than me and just put some marks on there. And so this way you'll know, you know, unlock diffs, rear, full lock. I think most people are going to leave it in full lock, to be honest with you. But if you're playing around in second gear and stuff like that, you probably want it to uh, at least open up the front so it can steer a little better. This thing ain't made for uh, high-speed chases and jumps. I mean, scale-wise, you ain't jumping your uh, Ford Bronco in there. I know Street Speed's idiot jumped the TRX and ruined it for, for videos. Uh, remember the days when we got everybody got mad for blowing up an RC car and $90,000 truck off the window? But hey, he got some he got some views. Uh, so you got the switches here and then uh, two and one speed here. So if you want to go a little quicker, get your move on, put that Bronco in, or you want to do some uh, crawling. Right out of the box setup. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I would be frightened if I had to change those servos. Uh, they got servo savers in there and there's cable control to the front and rear. Uh, Probably easier than I'm making it out to be, but you're gonna have to do a little setup. So if you have some fancy radios like this guy right here, uh, make sure you take the servo horn off before you start playing with it because I've burnt out servos, turning it on and goes right to the end and blows everything up. You know, I make mistakes, I'll tell you about them. Uh, again, took the wheel off. Couple things to point out here. You get aluminum hexes. Sweet. Uh, the hex is captured by a grub screw, uh, so it won't fall off. Smart and convenient. Th thread lock in. This is what it's called a portal axle. And if you can see, the normal axle, this is hard to do. I feel like I'm a dentist. 
you need to get a brush more right here, get some plaque. Normal axle would come out here, which means your wheel would be higher, less ground clearance. This has a secondary gear on it that drops the hex down and is a further gear reduction. Doesn't have to be, I think they can do it one-to-one. -one. Uh, I didn't research it, it could be one-to-one -one and just move it down, but you get more ground clearance. So as you can see, I don't know if I can see under here with it. See the ground clearance difference? It's a lot. So normally that was an option on things. It's not an option on this one. That's why it's so expensive, because she ain't cheap, but she's pretty. You know, you gotta pay for the pretty things. Uh, portal axles, nice. I'm gonna put that back, uh, wheel back on. Is there anything I have to talk about? Aluminum shocks. You know, uh, Trex doesn't even put aluminum shocks on a lot of other kits. Plastic top, a little plastic top, but this isn't gonna get the abuse of some of the off-road stuff was uh, gonna do. Five link suspension. You can see the cables in here. Dr. Dentist, Derek here. This cable goes down. Uh, yeah, that's really good. Black on black works for me for demonstration, but in here, cables do the shifting. What else we got? This might be a short video for uh, in my kitchen. But I'll tell, let me, let me put the wheel back on. So let's put this wheel back on and I'll think about what I'm gonna say. I do like the new body system. Now that I get the hang of it, it's really not that hard. Um, you just have to trust that things are clipped in and you just gotta feel, it's pretty easy. I also, in that short time, figured out to push the mode button on the lighting system. Uh, might be too bright, oh, she's blinking. You can see, so I'm turning blinker. Uh, you kind of got to recenter it to shut the blinker off. It's not European three blink system. Uh, it's probably in there. Uh, brake lights. This isn't part of the kit. Looks like I have my blinker on. Whoa. Should be brake lights in there. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, it's got reverse lights on. Damn, you tracks this, you're smart. You got reverse lights. Brake, reverse lights. I can see. Anyway, that's my dog barking. He doesn't like the sound of this stuff. I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of this class right here, TRX4. If you're comparing this, I don't know if I can get this in here so we can talk and look at it at the same time. I guess I'm going to hold it. If you are comparing this to a more, more competition scaler, I'm going to say an Axial. Um, TRX Sport. A couple of them are slipping my mind right now. I do a lot of research before I do this, you can tell. This truck is heavy. So in the terms of pure performance, the TRX4 is not going to win on scaling, crawling ability alone. Um, that doesn't mean it's a bad choice. It just means if you're into the craziness of like the, I'm gonna crawl up this peak and crest over, this probably is not the vehicle for you. That's not to say that it can't be that, but out of the box, it's heavy. Um, it has a big wheel sticking off the back, which you can obviously take off if you're gonna be kinda into the more performance thing and not the looks. This thing looks killer. I don't even want to drive it. I just want to look at it and lick it a little bit. I don't want to do that again. Um, you can't, you can't knock it on looks one bit. I think they nailed this body. I mean, look, they came out with a full, this before Ford, uh, Ford came out with their real one, which wasn't hard. Believe me, they've had pictures of the car for nine years and talking about it. I'm not going to get into Ford. Uh, but in terms of performance, this isn't your top pick. And we did a shootout a long time ago with the ready to runs, and this came in second. This has a lot of potential because not, nobody else is locking front and rear diff. They do, but not in the mainstream kits. Nobody else is giving you this out of the box, plug a battery in, kick some trail ass. Nobody. They're gonna try. Trax is still way ahead. You get all the features in here, portal axles. Locking front and rear from the remote. Two speed from the remote. You put the lighting system in here. You got freaking blinkers and backup lights. I mean, 
Can we put a backup camera on this thing so I can see it on the on the radio? You know, somebody think of that. Smart. So should you buy one of these? Yes. Uh, in the turn, look, if you're going to go out with your buddies, this thing will do everything. I'm going to have such a good time with this. I have this cool rock quarry. I haven't used it yet. Right across the street from my house. I'm going to get some great video with it. It's going to do everything. Never going to be a complaint other than she's a little heavy. Like my arm, like I'm going to start doing a little bit of, you know, curling. Just getting some pump while I'm doing this video. It's heavy. And that's okay because mass is mass, you know. I had an argument with uh, Sir Drake, Adam Drake one time, not an argument, we discussed weight and how it can be a performance enhancement, which I don't agree with, but this guy's heavy, which means it starts tilting. It's gonna be like a real truck, you know, at a certain point she tumbles. Um, but with the locking front and rear and the, everything, you're gonna have such a good time with this, and especially if you have a bunch of people with a similar chassis, you're gonna be able to go up steep rocks, you're gonna be able to climb lots of stuff, you're gonna be look good doing it, you're gonna get mad because you're gonna scratch the body. That's about what's going to happen and your disappointment in this truck. Um, I also just noticed that they have see-through windows now and I don't... Did the other one have it, the first one? Probably did. Um, this is awesome. It's not cheap, so stop complaining, okay? I'm sorry, you should get a better job so you can afford one. If you know, I'm not trying to be mean, but nothing's cheap. I mean, do we want everything for free? I, I don't think so. But you're going to pay a little premium for this. One, because Traxxas has to pay Ford, thanks Ford, to have this body out before their dumb truck came out. Look better, probably perform better. I don't know, I watched the videos of the new Ford. It, it looks really good. I'm a Jeep guy still, but it's a little, pretty, pretty good looking. Um, I think it's like 600 bucks. You gotta buy a battery and charger. But for me, you're not gonna get much better than this out of the box with everything you get, considering. Sure, you could put a brushless system in there. You can make it go faster. You can tune this and do a lot of stuff. There's still a lot of option parts that you can put on this. Downside is that the body mounts are not conducive to changing bodies. Now, that doesn't mean that somebody can get creative, but it's not like before where you poke four holes in the body and uh, she's on. This has to be mounted to the inner fender well and to the body. So I don't know how you're gonna do that. You may want to stick with the, stick with the track spotting because somebody will have a video. Oh, it ain't gonna be me doing that because that takes a lot of patience, which I don't have, and uh, I, I prefer the four holes and she's on. But uh, or you just have to glue it to the top of this one and pretend that you don't have two bodies on it. Either way, uh, Traxxas TRX4 Ford Bronco Sasquatch. Hard top, which you don't got right now if you're watching this video in the future, but uh, you can only get Broncos and soft tops. Suckers. Still still nice stuff. The review will be in, I think, issue 43. So depending if you watch this before 43, it's coming out. If not, go to our website, download the issue. It's digital. I can't understand, I'm talking to you, whoever you are, that buys a digital magazine and then asks why it doesn't come in the mail physical mail and printable. She's digital. You just download it on your phone, iPad, computer, still use one of those, laptop, whatever you can view a PDF on, which is just about everything in the world. That's how you got her magazine. That's why it's only $10 for the year. If we printed this at a point, I'd be asking you for like a million five each. So you're getting a discount of over a million five minus $10. I mean, four, nine, 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 ninety. Go subscribe. Check out the track. If you want more information, there's a lot of information on Traxxas' website. Our boy Peter was going to do an unboxing, but he did the Traxxas drag slash, which is on the floor behind me. If you didn't watch his real unboxing, oh, dude spends way too much time on this stuff. I mean, I have to look at the name of the box when I'm looking down. It's like, oh, it's a Bronco. I'm kidding. But Pete does a hell of a job on those unboxings, so go watch that. And uh, I don't know how to put the hazards on, but I can definitely put a blinker on before we go. Uh, Velocity, RC Cars Magazine. Subscribe. You're in my kitchen-esque. Uh, maybe I'll eat something and then I'll make it feel like the kitchen. My, this is my studio. Talking about the Traxxas TRX4. Drive video coming up. 
coincides with the release of the video. So that's another thing we do is videos and reviews. Check out our website. It's not the greatest, but we do a magazine. I, you can have a nice website or a magazine. We chose to make a magazine still. So diffs aren't locked. Diffs aren't locked. Full lockup from the remote. It's badass. Peace.